Hi Gracians, I'm Pastor Wai Ching, one of the regional pastors. Welcome to Grace Every Morning. Today, we will be looking at chapter 11. The application question for this chapter is, are you willing to help those in crisis? The Ammonites had besieged Jabesh Gilead, and the men of Jabesh had sought for a peaceful treaty with the Ammonites. But the enemy would only do so on the condition that they gouged out the right eye of everyone in Jabesh Gilead and put disgrace upon Israel. Saul responded when he heard of the plight of Jabesh Gilead, and powered by the Spirit of God, he rose up in faith to summon Israel to war. The key verses I have chosen are verses 2 to 6. All right, Nehesh said, but only on one condition, I will gouge out the right eye of every one of you as a disgrace to all Israel. Give us seven days to send messengers throughout Israel, replied the elders of Jabesh. If no one comes to save us, we will agree to your terms. When the messengers came to Gibeah of Saul and told the people about their plight, everyone broke into tears. Saul had been ploughing a field with his oxen, and when he returned to town, he asked, What's the matter? Why is everyone crying? So they told him about the message from Jabesh. Then the Spirit of God came powerfully upon Saul, and he became very angry. An alarm bell had sounded. Jabesh Gilead was in a crisis. Not only were they under siege, but they were also in danger of being disfigured and maimed. Jabesh Gilead sent out word throughout Israel for help, and when the news reached Gibeah, the people wept loudly. Saul heard the weeping and asked what had happened. When he heard the plight of Jabesh Gilead, the Spirit of God came upon him and he was very angry. He fought the enemy and rescued God's people. Crises are alarm moments in life. A sudden death, a diagnosis of cancer, a rape, a robbery. And when people seek you out in their crisis, they bring with them confusion, chaos, their fears and anxiety. Sometimes we are the recipients of their anger and accusations. I once sat with someone who was in a crisis. She sobbed as she shared her pain and sorrow, the abuse and trauma she suffered. I had no words to comfort her. I handed her tissue, hoping she would catch the hint that her tears should stop. Her loud sobs made me uncomfortable. I would rather sit with clean faces, hear stories of success, say a few true and good things and leave, hoping that they would feel better. But there I was, face to face with anguish and pain. I could not turn away and pretend that all was well. I chose to stay and hold her grief. I would be lying if I said I was not affected by the trauma, the brokenness and the violence. Jesus stepped into our world of suffering. He became like one of us and endured unspeakable torture and death to save us from our sins. Today, as the body of Christ, we can partner with the Holy Spirit to bring good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and opening of prison doors to the bound, to comfort those who mourn, and to give them a garment of praise instead of a faint spirit. It will cause us inconvenience, discomfort, or it may even endanger our lives. Jesus calls us to step into the deep dark hole of those who have fallen into them. Is there someone whom you can reach out to? Pray and ask the Lord to show you how to help the person. If need be, talk to your leader or pastor for advice. The Lord will give you the resources you need if this is what He wants you to do. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for entering our world of suffering. You are acquainted with sorrow and pain. Anoint us with your Holy Spirit that we might pray and speak and work for the release of captives, the recovery of sight for the blind and the liberty of the oppressed. Grant us courage and strength to bear the burdens of suffering people that we may carry your grace to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Today, if you know of someone who is in a crisis, reach out to them with love and compassion. Have a blessed day.